I'm sure many of you metal fans know this is not a happy day in our world because uh, this morning many of us woke up and uh, one of the best drummers to ever walk this planet and play metal passed away. His name was Vinnie Paul. <laughs> Vinnie Paul Abbott. You know the name of the band he played in. What is it? Yeah. What? Yeah. Hell yeah, pun intended. In 1985, my stupid band, Grim Reaper, played a tour called Fear No Evil. We had an album out. We played a show in Texas. A local band opened for us. The guitar player kind of looked like me, but shorter and not as cool. He was better, much better looking, actually, if truth be told. And he could drink more than me, too, which is actually quite impressive. The, <laughs> the drummer was his brother, so there was this Van Halen thing, and I watched them and they blew me away. The guitar player gave me a tape afterwards. It was called Projects in the Jungle. <laughs> the band was called Pantera. <laughs> Fast forward five years later, my manager and managing Pantera, and they got to be really good friends of mine. I had the privilege, the honor, the pleasure of working with Dime Bag Darrell on, on all of his Guitar World stuff. It was an amazing gig. I got to sit with the guy. He showed me how to play his stuff on backstage, in buses, in hotel rooms, at his house, and he paid me for it. It was the best gig ever. And I got to know his brother, and the bond between them, it was surreal. They played together marvelously. The magic that was Van Halen is often the fact people forget it, but... It's about the link between Edward and Alex. The same thing, the same kinetic energy happened between Daryl and Vinny. That's why Pantera was so magical. Dime got the attention, Philip got the attention, but the power groove came from Vinny Paul. Those drum beats are unbelievable. If you play Pantera stuff and the drums are off, you're off and you shouldn't do it. It's... And the sad thing is, my heart goes out to, um, to their father. To have both sons pass away, I can't imagine. He's a good friend of mine, wonderful human being. So spare some thoughts for that man tonight, because that's got to be very, very, very hard indeed. But um, the cool thing is, if there's any, looking at the glasses being half full, finally the brothers are reunited. The last words Vinnie, Paul, and Daryl said together before they went on that stage that fateful day was Van Halen because that was their code for kicking ass. So our code for what we're about to do is going to be Van Halen because we're going to do it for those two guys up there. And they're watching you guys right now. Make no mistake about it. They're watching you. They're in God's tavern. They've got the, the black tooth poured and they're watching you. So if you recognize this song... I have two favors. Number one, if you recognize the chorus, please join in and make it loud enough that not only people in Detroit and in Chicago can hear it, but Daryl and Vinny can hear it in heaven. You with me on that? Yeah. Also, I have one other goddamn huge favor. Please, out of respect and reverence, get off your asses and stand up for this last song. Thank you, come on, up! I think you might recognize this. You ready? I said, are you ready?
Ladies and gentlemen, the Hurricane Nita Strauss and her all star band. Give it up for Ibanez. 